now. Go ahead, John. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Um, glad you can join us again today. Uh, before we get started, just go ahead, and put the bands on your arms, all the way up to your armpits. And remember, we want these things snug enough. See how I'm kind of struggling to put my finger under the band? That's kind of where we want to start. And then go ahead and tap your cycle, turn on, group uh, low is where I start. And then as we go throughout Laurel's uh, workout, I just slowly increase, uh, do whatever's comfortable for you. And uh, just a reminder that you can use the cycle 2.0 multiple times through the day, whether you're doing dishes, folding laundry, or just hanging out. So, um, Laurel, good to see you. You re Oh my good God, you're ready. You, you are guys. ready to go. I'm sitting down and you're already doing like jumping jacks and stuff. Just, just a casual <laughs> arm wave. Oh, I'm ready to go today. I'm excited for our workout today. Um, we've awesome. got a fair amount of upper body. So not that that means anything different than any normal workout, but I'm stoked for it. So if you're not already standing, pop on up to stand. Um, reminder, do what feels right for your body. If anything does not feel good or it causes a lot of pain, stop immediately, adjust. You can always ask questions throughout our workout. I'm here for you guys. So if something doesn't make sense, unmute yourself or give me a shout in the, in the chat so we can work through it together. So I think I've met a lot of people here for those I haven't met yet. I'm Laurel, I'm based in Santa Monica, California. This is my living room that's been turned into a workout studio. Uh, and I'm really loving working out with these bands. I have a history of playing water polo and swimming, so similar grain to a lot of folks here. Um, and I'm really happy to be here and really stoked to work out with our crew that we've been creating over the last couple of weeks. So with that being said, start your cycle. If you've not already done so, um, making sure to restart your cycle in between each exercise that we do so those bands keep pumping the whole time we don't want any pauses that are unnecessary and let's start with some shoulder mobility so left arm across the body we're going to lead with the thumb i'm going to come down to my knees just so you can see me reaching up with the right arm and then rotating pinky finger back coming all the way back through it kind of like a funky backstroke we're going to lead up with that thumb rotate pinky finger back come all the way through you'll notice that my body does not shift and move so keep your glutes and your core engaged Let's take a couple more and as you're working through this i want to see that range expanding each time so how big of a circle can you make challenging yourself last two and if we're doing these right we should already be starting to feel some intensity in our shoulder as we work through it the muscles are starting to work, the bands are starting to groove. And let's work into the other side. Right arm across the body. Leading with the thumb of the left hand, we go straight up. Pinky finger comes back, rotate all the way back and through it. And keep going. And then the key component of working out with the bands is we do want to be hydrated. So we're going to take breaks throughout our workout to do a cheers with each other and sip some water. If you don't have water on hand, pop up, grab that now, last two. And, and final one, rotate through it. And then go ahead and take your hands behind your head. We're gonna do some standing spinal rotation. So start to pull your right elbow back, twist over to the right as far as you can. And then come back through center. Let's go the other way, over to the left and back through center keep going side to side couple more as you do this your hips should not move so only the upper body is rotating good and we'll say two more last one and then going side to side right elbow over come back up left elbow over come back up we've got four more Waking up the whole upper body. We've got spine, shoulders. Good. And for our first exercise of the day, we're going to do some wrist circles to start to work the forearms. So go ahead and take your left arm in towards the midline of the body. My elbows pull into my side. I take my right hand and grab that arm to keep it stable. Make a fist. 
and start to draw some circles with your hand without letting the upper part of your arm move. And we're gonna do 30 seconds per side. We've got four sets. So let's jump right into it. Move your wrists around. And the more you clench your fist, the bigger circle you make, you're gonna feel your forearm working. So really work that range and make sure your bicep doesn't move. Go ahead and surrounding mobility. Good. And then go ahead and release that arm, give it a shake. Let's dive right into the other side. Let's go the right arm into the body. Take your left hand, find that stability. Make fist. Circle it around. And I want to see these slower and bigger for our first set. So how big can you make that movement? Working through it, clenching your fist, maybe noticing the skin tone starting to turn a little bit darker, that's good. Move it the other way. Really work through it. Fast. Take it slow. And then go ahead and release that one. Give it a shake. Relax the fingers. All right, we're going to come up into our exercise. Bash and tricep extend and do that. Wings, tuck them under. Now start to extend your arms back. As you do this, open up your fingers and then clench the fist, pull them back up. Reach back, open up, clench the fist, come on up. We got 30 seconds of these. As you're doing this, reaching back, actively using your fingertips to open up and work even more into that bicep. A nice straight spine here, no hunch back. Good. If you want to go deeper, you can hinge forward even more. That's fine. But the most important thing is you're fully lengthening your arm back, leading with the pinky finger. Awesome. Starting to feel those triceps, those baby back and the arm muscles start to work. Mm-hmm. Good. We got one more set after this. We're going to rest in five, four, three, Two, go ahead, come on up, shake it out. Now this time we're gonna go fast. We go out, in, out, in. So go ahead and reset yourself up into form. Second set, let's go. Out, in, out, in, as fast as you can, but fully extending the arms back behind you. Push, 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 that's it. Checking the spine, pulling the shoulders down away from the ears as we do this. Reach, reach, cool. Keep it going. Keep those elbows pulled into the body. Don't let them move last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna come right into a bicep curl. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Good. Elbows stay tucked in. Get those fists going again. We're pulling in, two, out, two. In, two, out, two. Bicep curl. And I love these. It's so simple with the bands, yet every time I do them, I feel my biceps getting stronger. I feel those bands working. Notice if your elbows have started to splay out to the sides, keep them tucked into the body. Out, two, in, two, out, two. And the more we engage and squeeze, the more we can actually build bulk muscles. That's the beauty of the band is doing even some of the same movements. We can do different things. So bulk muscle versus lean muscle. Really give your fist a squeeze. Last 10. Two, out, two. We have four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Okay. So the more tension we create, the more we squeeze, that's when we get those bigger muscles. I remember that was a question we had last week. Second set, right into it. This time we're going fast. In, out, in, out. Work the arms. Even faster. Yes, now let me check in. Keep going. Let's see who we've got with us today. I recognize Justin. I know John. I see Judy. I don't see Judy, but Judy's on. I've seen you before. Awesome, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Good, guys. 
Keep those fists strong. Last 10. All right, Lily, we have four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. All right. We're going to take it to the floor. We always do some kind of plank. For today's plank, we have a high plank rotation. So options here. There's always a modification. You can do this on your knees and go side to side. Or the full variation is I'm in a plank. I rotate over to one side, back through center, over to the other side, back through center. And you'll notice that if you stack your feet, it's harder. If that doesn't work for you, step the feet, top one in front, bottom one in back, and work through it, okay? So we've got two 30-second sets. The first 30 is just normal. We're going side to side. Keep your, keep your hips up, stay nice and stable. So let's come into plank, and let's do it, side to side. And this does not have to be fast. I want you to fully stack your shoulders when you come over to one side. Maybe even look over the top hand on that reach. Good, now if you notice your hips are starting to sag towards the floor, pick them up. Keep hips and shoulders in one long line. We've got 10 seconds, then we're gonna drop the knees and rest. Fully extending that top arm, awesome game. Good, see if you can do one more set. And then go ahead and drop your knees. Let's take a quick pause. Take the back of the right hand, weave it underneath the left arm for a quick shoulder stretch. Letting the right cheek rest on or towards the floor. And then press yourself back up, switch sides. Take the back of the left hand, weave it under, resting the left cheek on the mat. All right, press yourself back up through center. We're gonna make our way up into plank. If you're wanting an extra challenge on this one, you're gonna roll over onto one side, lift a leg, come back through center, and switch, okay? You can even do this if you're on your knees. We go over, up, and back through center. Over, up. 30 seconds, let's go. So leg lift or no leg lift? Reaching that arm up, stacking the shoulders. Speed still does not matter. Just keep your hips off the floor the entire time. And really press the bottom arm into the floor. So keep that shoulder active. Make sure it's working, not sagging. Nice job. Diane looks great. Good, Gabe with the leg lift coming in hot. We have 10 more seconds. Woo! Okay, last four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop your knees. Together, let's press back into downward facing dog, hips up and back, pedal out your legs, bend alternating knees. Now we always do at least one heart rate boost with our armbands on just to see how it feels. So go ahead and walk your feet up to meet your hands, roll on up to stand, and we're gonna do our three heart rate boost moves today. So the first one, is a frog jump. So we start at the back of our workspace. We go hop, 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 and hop, hop, hop. Hop, alternative to hopping. So three hops forward, three hops back. If you're not hopping today, get low, step up, step back, okay? Either way, your butt stays low. The next move we have is a crisscross jack. If the hop is not working for you today, step side to side, okay? And the last one we've got is we're just gonna run in place, high knees, run like heck. So first move, 30 seconds, frog jump. We go hop, 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 and hop, hop, back. Get your arms involved. All right, we're bouncing all over the place, I love it. Totally find a step if you don't feel like hopping. See if you can use the momentum of your arms to really get your body moving. Light on those toes, gentle knees. Cool, good Kyle. Nice, everybody's jumping that I can see. Good, last five, four, three, 
two, cross jack, let's go. Totally okay to take the steps, pick your pace, something that you can do for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's it, half done. Keeping that core ever so slightly engaged, only supporting our back, last 10. After this, we're gonna run or jog it out. We have five, four, three, two, run it in place, get those knees up. And you can either go quick on the feet, keep your heels off the floor, or you can just step alternating legs, make it a clip pace march. Either way, keep moving. All right, last 10. Run, 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 run. After this, we're gonna take a water break. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody grab your water. Cheers all around. Good job, gang. Those forearm planks were, not forearm planks, those high plank rotations were awesome. I saw a lot of leg lifts. Those are really good. All right, we've got one more thing to do here. Let your heart rate slow down for a moment. So we're incorporating arms and legs. Shoulder exercise for the arms, as well as hip strength and mobility for the legs. I come down this time into a forearm plank and I get my knee to my tricep, tap, tap. You do your best. Always okay to do it on the knees. Up, up. So everybody come into whatever variation of forearm plank you're working with today. And before we do anything, make sure that your shoulders are over your elbows and then we move. Now, first step, slow motion, get those knees as high up as you possibly can. I wanna see contact on or towards your tricep, 30 seconds. So that little squeeze of the outer hip is really what we're wanting to incorporate here into our shoulder strength exercise. Good. Get those knees up, tap, tap. Rest of the body does not move. My shoulders are not shifting. My legs are the ones that are moving. Good, last 10. We have five, four, three, Two, come on up, give the wrist a roll. Give the shoulders a roll. We have one more set and then we're gonna go into our leg band. This time, same movement, but you can go fast. Think of mountain climber alternative. So I'm on my forearm and I'm going up, 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 up. Second 30 seconds, make your way into forearm plank. Time is going. Nice. Let's see what we've got. Awesome, Ethan. Good game, Miss Kyle. Good, George. Fantastic, Lily, Peter, James, Charles. Everyone is moving. Last 10. See if you can pick up. Fastest pace all day. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up. Shake everything out. Come up to stand. Grab your water. We have a rest. We're swapping out our bands, questions, comments, feedback, how you're feeling today, what your hopes and dreams are. Give us a shout in the chat right now. Good Did we job. mention that you can wear the bands while you full bungee? <laughs> Hello, this is Meg. Meg's a head roll. Hey, Meg, how are you? John, as they're switching out bands, yeah. tell them how Meg used, first used the katsu. Oh, yeah, really cool story. So we were on our way to Tokyo and we went down to Osaka, actually, and we were flying on a military pod. And the night before the flight out of Dover, Delaware, uh, Meg. <laughs> I don't think we can hear an accident and broke her arm doing some gymnastics and had a full cast from her armpit to her wrist. And two days later, we were with Dr. Sato, and Dr. Sato taught Meg how to do isometric holds inside a fiberglass cast with Katsu. And 
six weeks, the cast came off and there was no um, atrophy. No atrophy on her broken arm. There, there's the summarized version. <laughs> Thank you. All right, gang. So once you've got your leg bands on, come on down to sit. And see if you can give your leg bands an extra little tug to get them even tighter. Same rule applies here. One finger should be able to fit. Uh, if you can get more than one finger in there, your bands are too loose. And go on the tighter side with the leg bands because your legs can take that extra little oomph. So once we've got our leg bands on, start that cycle. Come up to stand. And in preparation for one of our moves today, we're going to set the feet really wide and just start to bend side to side. get ready for dance. That's right. Start to bend side to side into alternate legs. And as you do this, you want to keep pressing your hips back behind you. And I want you to see how low you can go. But your heels have to stay down on the floor. Good. Four more of whatever you're doing. Keep the weight in the heels. And after this next one, we're gonna come on up to stand. Keep those feet wider than hips distance. So just like arms, we go small muscles to bigger muscles. For the legs, we're gonna start with our calves. So it's a sumo squat heel raise. You start to angle your toes out to the sides. And as you do this exercise, your knees are gonna to want to start to fall in. Keep pressing the knees out and open. So we're opening up the hips. And then come into your variation of a sumo squat. So you might be in a baby bend, you might be in a big old bend, doesn't matter, just drop your butt down, spine is nice and straight, and we're going to lift the right heel, and we're just going to do little pulses with the right heel up. So we've got 30 seconds on this side. Getting your heel as high as you can, totally fine to grab onto a wall or something if you want. All right, and get that heel up as high as you can. So we're creating some instability in the body. We're working balance, working our calves. We're pressing the outer edges of our knees back. And in 10 seconds, we're gonna go right into the other side. Good, so keeping that chest up, the spine straight. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the right heel, lift the left, let's go right into it. Nice. Good. So your legs are going to be starting to feel a little bit tired here, maybe a lot tired. That's what we want. We're isolating those calf muscles, getting those heels up. And in 10 seconds, we're going to take a rest. And then we're going to try it with both heels lifted. And if both heels lifted doesn't work for you, you can do one at a time again. We have four, three, two, and come on up. Give yourself a rock side to side. I can feel it. Things are working. And then this time, second set, if you feel comfortable with it, drop into that sumo, that little partial sumo squat. See if you can get both heels off the floor, 30 seconds, down and up with your butt. I challenge you not to let your heels touch. Ooh, I'm already shaking. And I'll let us know when we're half done if you choose to do one side than the other. So if you're doing one side, go ahead and switch it out. Everybody, we're half done. Get those feet a little bit higher. Embrace the shake. That's 10. We're going to pulse at the bottom because that's what we do in four, three, two, drop your butt down, little pulses up and up with the heels. We have eight, seven, six, five, get it, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Okay, heart rate boost. First up, frog jump, go. Three forward, three backwards. Always okay to come into that squat and walk it out. Go, Chris. Yes. Good, light on the knees, guys. Mm -hmm. In 10, we're gonna come into cross jacks. Keep your butt down, keep moving. All right, Diane, we have four. Three, two, and cross jacks. Go.
Try and keep your arms up in line with your shoulders. Don't let them sag, keep them up. And then see here if you can regulate your breathing. So if you notice that you're panting, try and breathe a little bit slower, if you can, in and out through your nose. Maybe in through the nose and out through the mouth. In 10, we're gonna jog it out. We have four, three, two, and one. Let's run. High knees, your speed, let's go. And if you've got space, you can run around your house. You can run around your yard. Keep those knees up. Half done. <laughs> I see people doing laps back and forth. Last 10. All the way on the way, sprint. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew, grab a sip of water. All right, while you drink your water. Say bye-bye, Laura. Bye. Say bye-bye, Laura. Who am I saying bye to? Bye. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, bye, Meg. <laughs> Good job. Hopefully you didn't scare Meg off. Um, all right, so it's a lateral lunge. So we practice doing things with our legs wide because that's what we're going to be working into here. So it's my right leg only. I step out to the right. Bend into it, step back up. I step into the right, bend into it, step back up. Something to be mindful of. As I step out to the side, my knee does not come past my ankle. So instead, I shift my hips back and step back up, okay? So as you're doing this modification, just don't step out as far. And center. Out and center. Otherwise, try and get all the way into it. We're starting with the right leg. And then we're going right into the last leg for one minute straight. We have two sets. Go, right leg, butt back, up, out, and up. Get your butt down, press into the right heel to bring yourself back up through center. Think about contracting through your core and your glute to squeeze and pull it back up. Yes, last 10. Then we're gonna jump right into the left side. Woo, awesome, good, last two. We're going right into the left leg, go. Take it out, up, out. Get a little bit lower, up. You can do whatever you want or you need to do with your arms. Sink your butt down towards your heel, work those muscles. Good job, Instagram. Nice. Chest up, no rounding up the spine. Last 10. I want everyone to think about keeping your chest, your collarbones up. I'm seeing a little bit of rounding out of the shoulders. You gotta keep good posture for four, three, two, and one. Step on up, shake it out. So one thing I am noticing, and it's not horrible, but it's my job to be mindful that we're doing things the right way. So I'm seeing a little bit of this. Notice that I'm rounding out. What I wanna see is your spine stays straight. So we're not hunching like this. Just something to be mindful of, not calling anyone out in particular, just something we can all always afford to work on. And fortunately, we have a second set. This time, if you want an extra challenge, you step the leg out, you come back up, hover it. Don't let it touch the floor. I go out, up, hover, okay? Right leg, 30 seconds, go. And even if you don't drop as low into it, as long as your chest is up, I am a happy camper. Drive your heel into the floor. Nice, Lily. Good. Gabe has got it. Kyle's got it. You guys are getting low. See the sun just shining wonderfully behind John? Good. In five, we're gonna switch into the other side. We have three, two, one. Right into the left leg. Out and hover. Drop your butt down and hover. That's it. Good. See, I knew this was gonna be a workout, a good workout. I just knew we we're just having a good day. Everyone's firing all cylinders. Good Justin. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody move around, shake it out. Try and stay standing because we don't want to come down to sit and let that lactic acid build up. 
Okay, heart rate boost. We get a sip of water after this. Broad jump, 30 seconds, go. Up, 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 back, back, back. Keep your butt low. Totally okay to walk. If you want to add pace, add pace, move fast. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> I like it. In 10, we're going to come up for cross jack. We have five, four, three, two. Everybody up, cross jack. Active arm, active legs. Woo. See if you can keep growing taller from the top of your head. Lengthen out the spine as we do it. In 10, we go run. We have five, four, three, and two. Run it out as fast as you can. 30 seconds, ready, set, go. If you want, you can run forwards and backwards. You can run in one place. You can run side to side. <laughs> cool. Kyla, see high knees. I like it. Woo! Arms are involved. Everything is involved. Go, Chris. Yes, last 10. George is grooving around. We have five, four, three, two. Water breaks. Grab it, sip it. All right. Last standing exercise of the day. So we've done a lunge to the side. Now we're gonna, which is kind of a combination of the next two moves. It's a forward lunge to squat. So right leg only. I come to the back of my workspace. I lunge, step up, squat, center. Lunge, center, squat, center. And the same rule applies. I don't want my right knee to go past my ankle. So that means I have to drop the back knee down and then come back up, okay? Alternative for this is step, smaller lunge, step, smaller squat. So work through whatever range you're comfortable with. We have four sets. We're doing a minute straight, 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. Right leg starts, 30 seconds. Lunge, up, squat, up, lunge, center, squat, and center. Pace is up to you as long as the form is good. We're really getting the legs going today. Cool. Remembering that if our core is not working and our spine is not straight, we're cheating. Nice. I'm going to have you guys lead the workout. Good. Switch sides. Left leg right into it. Forward lunge. Center. Squat. Center. Woo! Good. Dropping that back knee down on the lunge to keep good form. Doesn't have to touch the floor, but think about it getting towards the floor. Last 10. We're going to take a quick rest and then jump into the second set. We have six, five, four, three, two. Come up, shake it out. And because it's a lot of hamstring work, hands to opposite shoulder, straight legs, or ever some slight bend in the knees, good morning. Drop into it. Straight spine, straight legs. Come on up. One of my favorite hamstring stretches. Drop into it, straight spine, get as low as you can without letting your back round. And come on up, let's take two more. Each time, get a little bit lower. And up, last one, down, and up. Second minute of work, right leg, let's go. Lunge, you can hover the foot here, squat, hover. Lunge, hover. Squat if you want extra balance work. We're already 10 seconds in. Good. Half done. Ooh. We're going to go right into the other side in four, three, two, left leg. Work it. 
last thing we have to do standing for today. If you're gonna hover the leg, think about using your core to help you keep it up. Good, Kyle. Don't forget that squat. There we go. Last 10. Beautiful. We're gonna come up in five, four, three, and two. Wide legs, rock it side to side. Okay. For the rest of the work, we are going to be on the mats, but that does not necessarily mean it's going to be easy. We've done some bridge work in our sessions before. For this bridge, it's called a figure four bridge. So how that works is I take my right ankle over my left knee, I press up into a bridge, and I lower and lift my hips down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Now, if this doesn't work, you can do it with two feet down. Okay, but I want the movement to be very precise. Your bottom does not have to touch the floor. It's just down an inch, up an inch. You're squeezing your butt like heck to activate your glutes, which are very important in all of our exercises. So on your back, right ankle over left knee. Find that figure four shape. Reach down. Make sure your left heel is close enough to your butt that you can tap it. Otherwise, you can be prone to hamstring cramps. Then push your butt off the floor into bridge. Let's pulse it. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Keep that move small. Really squeezing the left side of your glute. And as we're doing this, we're also opening up our right hip because we got that knee in figure four. Cool. 10 more seconds and we're going to go right into the other side. We have eight, seven, a little closer to the very tip top, as high as you can go. Six, five, four, three, Two, drop your butt down right away. Switch out to the other one. Left ankle over right knee. Pick your butt off the floor. Work it. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. If you notice your hamstring starting to cramp, scoot your right heel closer to your butt. Yes. Cool. And for some people, it's super easy. For some people, these are just hard. Try and keep all four corners of your foot rooted into the floor. Heels and toes. All right, lift up as high as you can. Pulse it up, up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop your butt down. Pull the knees into the chest, release the back. We have one more set, then we're doing core. This time, reach your feet into the mat. Check your heels. Are they close enough to your butt? Press your butt into bridge if you want the variation. Take your right leg straight up towards the ceiling. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Time's rolling. And if you have your right leg straight instead of over the knee, try and drive your heel up towards the ceiling. Up, down, up. That's it. Of course, we're going to pulse up at the top. Yes. Get those hips as high as you can. Little pulses. Up, up. Up, eight, seven, higher, six, five, four, three, two. Drop everything down. Last set. Plant your heels into the floor. Make sure they're close to your butt, close enough that you can touch them. Press your hips up. Press your left leg up. Let's go. Final set of bridges. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Targeting the glute. And notice that you're not just arching your back, you're really squeezing your butt. So instead of pressing your hips up, you're squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pulse it at the top, up, 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 up. Little lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good job, pull the knees into the chest. Give them a hug, rock side to side. And roll on over to one side, doesn't matter which one, because we're gonna do both. Take your bottom arm in front of you. So it's in line with my shoulder. My top hand is behind my head. Actually, reach your top arm straight up. We're gonna do an oblique crunch. We go up, down, up, down. Pressing into the bottom arm to get as high up as you can. 30 seconds, let's go. Up, down, up, down, arm to leg. See if you can get all the way off your ribs on the bottom side. Oh. 
down, up, down. That's it, looks good. Last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna roll over and go right into the other side. Nice game, good. Awesome, we have five, four, three, two. Roll over onto your other side. Bottom arm is straight out in front of you. Top arm reaches up. We go up, down, up, down. Press into that bottom arm for help. That's it. Get that leg all the way up there. Yes. Good. Nice step. Cool. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone take a gaze at your screen for a second. So sometimes we do exercises and we're moving and other times we do exercises and we're static. So we just get into a super uncomfortable position and we hold it and that's how we gain strength. And that's what we're gonna do here. It's called a hollow body hold. So the most important thing here is that my back stays pressed into the floor the whole time. We're gonna come up into hollow body hold 30 seconds and you just breathe and hold. If your back starts to hurt or come off the floor, take some of the pressure off of it by lifting your legs up. Ideally, my arms are straight and they're in line with my ears. So all things to think about. Let's set up together. Reach your arms back behind you. Lift your head off the mat. Extend your legs forward. 30 seconds. Keep pulling your belly button in, pressing your spine down, and we breathe. With each exhale, see if you can press your back into the floor even more. Protect it. Good. Now find your heels and push them away from you, reaching your heels and your fingertips in opposite directions. You got it, Chris. Yes. Good. Everybody see if you can reach your arms even further back. Breathe into it. We have five. Awesome, Justin. Four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Circle them around one direction. Move them around the other direction. And then go ahead and release your right leg. Grab the back of the left leg, the back of it. Pull the knee into the chest and just start to work it up and down, towards straight and bend. And the more you can pull your knee into the midline of the body here, the better. And as you do this, you should feel a nice pull and maybe a not so nice pull, but a necessary pull across the back of your hamstring. And each time you do it, see if you can kick the leg a little bit straighter. Good, two more. And go ahead and grab your shin, pull the left knee to the chest, so as stretch, give it a big squeeze. And release the left leg. Let's grab the back of the right leg. Same stretch. Work it up and down. And I can have my knee in line with my hip. That's easier. More challenging. Pull that knee and even more sink knee towards the nose. You won't be able to fully straighten your leg, but that's what we want. Working through that active range of motion. You can't fully get to the end, and that's where the challenge comes in. Let's take four more. And last two. And this time, grab your right shin, pull into the knee, pull the knee into the chest, give it a big squeeze. And then draw both legs in, rock and roll up and down along your spine. We'll come up to sit and then prop yourself up to stand. Coming into a wide legged stance. Both hands to the right leg, walk your hands down your leg, fold into it. Letting the upper body hang, letting everything be heavy. Your shoulders drop towards your, the floor, the, ah, the top of your head drops towards the floor. And then roll up slowly. Take both hands over to the left leg, walk them down. Letting everything hang again here, and maybe giving your head a shake now to release the neck. 
And on your next couple exhales, pulling yourself even deeper into that stretch. And go ahead and roll up to stand. Clasp your hands, press the base of the palms forward. Press the base of the palms up, reaching your fists up towards the ceiling, rocking over to one side, and then over to the other side, kind of like a pendulum. And then as you come back to your center, release your hands, bring them together, give yourself a round of applause. Awesome work, everyone. That was great. I'm seriously impressed. I think, in my opinion, that was one of the best workouts we've had in terms of consistent form. So, Chris, you've done well. Your guys are great. <laughs> Thanks for the muscle building. For sure. We'll keep exploring. All right, Steve, I'll turn it over awesome. to you, John, if you guys have anything else to say. I got nothing. Thank you very much, Laurel. Steven? Steven, is he there? Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I was